Hi, this is Ivan with Simple Sheets, and in this video, I'm gonna show you some Excel tips and tricks that you never knew you needed. We have here a start and end date. First, we have to get the number of days between the dates, so we type in equals, select the end date, minus the start date. After that, we need to get the number of weeks in decimal form. So we type in equals, then the number of days, divided by 7 because there are 7 days in a week. You basically have the number of weeks. To clean up the numbers though, you might want to use truncate. Type in equals T-R-U-N-C. Hit tab. Then the number of weeks and the number of decimal places you want on there. And there you have it. Next, we're going to be highlighting and removing duplicates. This might seem like a pretty basic skill, but it's very common for people to not know or to forget how to utilize Excel to do this really fast. So, select the column where you want to highlight the duplicate from. In the Home tab, in the Styles group, hit the Conditional Formatting and select Highlight Duplicate Values. By default, it highlights duplicates in red text and red fill. You now have all your duplicate values highlighted. Next, we can highlight the entire table and go over to Data and Remove Duplicates. Select the columns that will be included in the removal and hit OK. You get the message saying how many duplicates were removed and how many unique values remained. Another thing that people commonly want to remove are blanks. This is really easy. Just select your table that has blanks, head over to the Go To Special. The shortcut is Control plus G then click on special, select blanks, then OK. It selects your blank cells and from there, you can delete them using the shortcut Control plus minus. Next, we're going to clean up some data. We see here we have some pretty badly written strings of text. First thing we can do is remove these awkward spaces. We can do that by typing in equals trim and selecting the cell. It removes the excess spaces in the text string. Next, we can convert the texts into proper case. And we can do just that by typing in equals proper. Select the cleaned up cell and enter. Then you should get neat text strings. Lastly, sometimes you'll have to deal with tables with computed values that contain errors. It would be easy if you could just automatically ignore those errors to get your totals, but the sum function would just not allow it. As we can see here, we get errors. Luckily, we can type in equals aggregate and select 9 for sum, then add a comma, then add 6 for ignore error values. Lastly, select your sum range and there you have it. These might just help you maximize your efficiency and make the most out of Excel. That's five Excel tips and tricks. Got any of your own? Leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one.